Hey you guys, Harry. I'm here to talk about the Bad Girls Club Season 17, Episode 3. Now, in this episode, I had some changed feelings about some bitches. I promise you I did. Um, but it was an okay episode. I, yeah, I told y'all from the beginning. One minute I might like you, the next minute I might not like you. It depends on what you show me through that episode. Um... Like I said, because I don't follow these girls. So, it just only what happens on the episode each week. I don't do spoilers. I don't look for shit. Stuff like that. Um, but I did look at some girls a little differently. But it doesn't say that I don't like you or nothing like that. So far, I like all the girls so far. So far, I don't hate anybody. It's like some girls I just rock with more than the other ones. But... Or I get a little bit more than the other ones. But I don't hate anybody so far. Not no more. Um, so it started off where I left off last week. Uh, excuse my appearance. But I'm relaxing today. Anyway. Um, it started off where I left off last week. With Sayora and Kiara fighting. I'm sorry. Kiara drugged the shit out of Sayora. She, no, you didn't beat her ass. Yeah, you connected on a couple of hits. I will give you that. I do think you won the fight. But, um, you didn't beat her ass, but you drug the shit out of her. And, girl, you can't deny that part. Um, they broke that fight up or whatever. And then, next, now, all the girls are against Sayor. Everybody against, uh, Sayor except... Um, Kiana. But like I said, Kiana just seemed like a follower. Um, like, I, it's something about her I just can't fucking connect with when, when it comes to Kiana whatsoever. Because the way she came in with Kiara of turned up loud, fucking with people for no reason... Now, you wanted, you didn't want to be her friend. Now, you want to be her friend. Like, girl, I ain't got time for all that. Like, it just seems... I'm with Seven when it comes to that bitch. Like, for real. So, like I said, that shit where Susan walked in the room and would start fucking with uh, Sayor afterwards. And then they all in the room laughing and jumping around, talking about she got her ass beat. Now, she don't want to fuck with nobody. That was petty and stupid. And... Um, and, um, that, I, uh, let me tell y'all, with that whole fight, let me tell you, say you are, you need to own up to your shit. You can't play victim as far as these girls not liking you. Bitch, you did something, I told y'all, first impressions are every fucking thing. And I'm with them, like, bitch, you came in the house and you badmouthed somebody else and then you expect these girls to just be cool by y'all with you. Then when you get called out on you what you did to Susan last week, you talk shit about her like, oh, bitch, you, you should have told me I wasn't your friend, you didn't know me, that kind of shows your character, like, bitch, if you don't know nobody, you a birthday business. Um, so kind of own up to your shit too. Don't just 100% kind of play the victim of you don't know why these girls don't like you. They don't like you because of those reasons. Yes, your beef with uh, Susan is separate or whatever is y'all beef. But if you do some fuck shit when I first meet you, bitch, I don't have to like you. I don't have to rock with you. I don't have to fuck with you, whatever. Now, okay, that was said with that. So let's get on with that. That fight is over with. Whatever. I thought that shit was crazy. But, bitch, you should have you should have been prepared. When that bitch started putting her hair in that rag, you should have knew it was about to go down. I'm just saying. Um, this whole thing with the Shayla and her girlfriend. Her girlfriend is insecure. Her girlfriend is her money girl. You know, she finances everything. But her girlfriend cheats on her a lot. So, they have trust issues. Or whatever. Um... They don't need to be together. Now, let me tell you. That whole thing with her and the girlfriend arguing. And the, the girlfriend hanging up on her. And then she ended up having another conversation with the girlfriend. They arguing again. And Kiara comes in there and telling her she don't need to deal with that. Kiara hangs up on the girl. And, you know, like, bitch, if you want to fight, then we can fight. All that type of shit. I kind of get that. 
when it's your true homegirl. When it's your true homegirl and stuff like that, you be like, bitch, you ain't got to keep going through this. You ain't got to keep arguing with her. This bitch trying to call you and make this argument, this show about her, bitch. This is your experience. So I totally get that. But at the same time, I was looking at Kiara like, bitch, you out of line for hanging up on people. Bitch, that's not, stay out that relationship. I understand where you coming from, but if that girl just keep it allowing this shit, you stay the fuck up out of that. When she hung up, okay, so, uh, say you all got this dude named Lionel, Lionel, I think his name is coming or whatever she got an ex-boyfriend there she rekindled with and she wants him to come down and see her so he's calling telling them, her that he's on his way there and say you i mean kiara kept answering the phone kiara she can't handle a phone call she can't talk on the phone i beat her ass she can't talk on the phone i was like bitch are you serious are you fucking serious she was way out of line for that way petty I don't like girls to be like, oh, I'm petty, and, and I know I can be petty. I just be like, no, bitch, that's childish. That's not petty. That's just being fucking childish. So let's call that what the fuck it is. And that shit wasn't fucking cool. Bitch, you can't represent Compton and playing just dumb, doing dumb ass shit, like stupid. And you like one of the oldest ones in the fucking house, and you doing that type of shit. I thought that was really disrespectful because that boy didn't do nothing to you for you to do him like that. Um, Francesca is not feeling Kiara whatsoever. She is not. She like, this bitch is loud. She always instigating stuff. And I'm like, no, she's only instigating her fights. She's not really instigating fights between other people. Instigating is when you, you start things between other kind of other people, not just like bitch. And then... You know, some of you bitches need to learn what the word bullying is, too. Because I don't think she's bullying, uh, Sayer. Sayer, bitch, bullying is when you don't speak back, you don't say nothing back, and she's coming over there, she's saying things to you, she's hitting you, she's just picking, constantly picking on you, and you're not saying anything back, and you just... But you say things back. You, come on now, so you're not getting bullied. Um... Picked on, maybe, a little bit, but not bully. Some of you bitches need to really learn what that fucking word is. You know what I'm saying? Bullying is when somebody is not fighting back. And that bitch fights back every fucking time. So, bitch, I give you that. Like, at least you might, you might be getting your ass handed to you, but you do run up. So, come on. You ain't been bullied. Um, yeah, so... That she kind of irritated me. Uh, but Francesca, when she said that she wasn't feeling Kiara, I was like, stay out of it. I understand you having your feelings, but to me, you don't have to go confront somebody when these are two grown-ass women fighting. And, like, this is the bad girls club. This is, like, not your home girl that you got to go stick up for type shit. Like, you know what you signed up for coming into the bad girls club. So I don't feel like... Bitch ain't getting bullied, so therefore you don't have to speak up for her. If this bitch is loud and obnoxious and you don't like her, you just don't like her and you don't fucking rock with her. That's all that is. But it's kind of funny how you don't like this, this one certain, you don't like these group of girls, but you your ass went to the nail shop with them. That's kind of fake. That's, that's kind of fake. Like, you don't like these girls, but you would go hang out with these girls. Um, but we will see why she's on the Bad Girls Club next week. I did see that clip, and I was like, okay, now we see why you're on the Bad Girls Club. But, um, I still felt like she should have stayed out of that shit. So, Kiara's mad that, I, I just wrote notes down. I'm not going step by step. I just wrote notes down. Kiara's mad at Kiana for hanging with Sayor. I get it, but I feel like, Bitch, y'all don't know each other to be loyal to each other. This is the third motherfucking episode. And y'all, and I'm with Kiara, I mean, Kiana on this part. Like, bitch, like, we not little girls where, you know what I'm saying? I can't like somebody because you don't like somebody. But I totally get where Kiara is coming from as far as, bitch, we was talking about her. We didn't like her. We was doing that. You seen me fight her. And you keep saying you my homegirl, but you steady going to rock with the bitch. Like, I get it, but I just be like, 
y'all ain't homegirls. Y'all don't know each other like that. But I'm not, I'm that type of person to where it comes to, you can't tell me who I could be friends with. Bitch, your problem is your problem with her. That's probably why I don't have a lot of female friends. I don't fuck with females like that because I can't do that. My loyalty don't run on me fucking with somebody and you that you don't fuck with. Bitch, that's stupid to me. That's elementary school shit to me. Um, now, like, cause I mean, I've been cool with girls that fought my fucking sister. You know what I'm saying? Me and the girl wasn't best friends. We wasn't cool by y'all hanging with each other. But I felt like they fight was they fucking fight. They'll be over it in a minute, whatever. But um, I didn't go, bitch. I hate you. You fought my sister. I'm gonna hate you. No, cause we're grown ass motherfucking women. And the shit didn't have nothing to do with me, type shit. And my sister under fucking stood that type of thing. But I just don't, no, no. That's like I said, that's probably why I don't have a lot of female friends. And it's not that I'm not loyal to my friends. It's just that my loyalty is different than, oh, bitch, I can't be friends because you're not friends. No, mm-mm, mm-mm. So I kind of totally understand where Kiara is coming from. But, bitch, like... You must have been saying some gang of shit about old girl for her to be looking at you kind of fucking sideways. Or maybe Kira just fucking petty. I don't... It's stupid to me. Um, When they went to go get their fucking nails done, and Seven went and got her uh Brazilian whack. Oh my god. That shit... This is why I like her. I like her. It's something about Seven. I like her. She ain't... She called people out on a drama, but, like, she just... A regular girl in the house and ain't really starting type shit she just get irritated like all of us is getting irritated but um when she got her brazilian wax and she walked out of there i fell the fuck out laughing and i only laugh because my homegirl be doing want to go get hers done and i'll be like bitch no bitch it hurts to get my eyebrows wax let alone mm-mm, mm-mm. this is y'all see the way mm-mm, mm-mm. that mm-mm. Mm-mm. Fuck that to each his own. Hell to the gnaw. I, mm, bitch, no. Can't do it. That shit looked like it was too painful. It was painful watching that shit. I feel, first of all, I don't understand these girls where they want to watch their friends get their coochie wax, rejuvenated, designed. I don't understand that. What What is new friendship where I just want to go look at my other, my homegirl coochie that I ain't hit? No. Mm-mm. Um... Seven, like I said, she's irritated with Kiana um, because of all the drama that's going on in the fucking house. She's very irritated with Kiana. Um, everything Kiana is doing, saying, she's irritated with her just like Francesca is irritated with Kiara. So, they all end up going out to this burlesque show. They have fun at the burlesque show. Everybody was getting along, but while they're at the burlesque show, Kiara, no, before they go to the Ki- uh, burlesque show, um, Sayora Dude Lionel comes through. He comes with a bottle of some rock, some juice for the girls. Everybody is drinking, having a nice time on the rooftop. You know, uh, Kiara... Still was feeling a little ways, was looking at him a little funny, saying some little petty ass shit about him, her, whatever, saying how she's going to start shit with homegirl till she get her out the house, and just petty shit, just petty as fuck. I felt like it was petty, if you don't fucking like her, you don't like her, if you don't rock with her, you don't rock with her, but just, just keep picking to get a person out the house, is, girl, that would get your ass cut, because you got to think about it. Us being from Compton, just think about it, boo boo. I'm trying to like you. I'm trying to rock with you. But just think about it, bitch from Compton. If that was the other way around and a bitch kept picking with you, <clears throat> bitches from Compton wouldn't take that too well and a bitch might get stuck. You know, we might be a liability. So why would you do it to somebody else? You know what I'm saying? That's why I was getting so fucking irritated with Kiara this episode. Like, 
why are you doing this to this girl? Because if the shoe was on the other foot, bitch, you would have been popped off and probably the police would have been called because you probably would have went post and gone crazy. So to do this to somebody else, if this was your company in the house, all this shit, I just was so disappointed in her. Like, I understand you trying to get your camera time, but why do you want to get it in this way? Why do you want to represent my hometown in this way? I get so fucking mad. Um... But um, she did end up talking to Kiara and apologizing to Kiara and saying how she could be petty and all that kind of stuff. They did talk about it. I was just like, yeah, okay, but y'all gonna fight later. So, whatever. Um, but yeah, they end up going to the blast show having fun. Homeboy Lionel and his girl uh, was in the bed. They chilling, they talking or whatever. The girls come home loud as fuck. Now Kiara is feeling some kind of way and want to start some shit. She, why he here? Ain't it time for company to go home? And I'm like, bitch, are you mad because you ain't got no dick in the bed? Like, why are you messing with this girl? This is so stupid. And she was trying to keep her composure and not say anything, but then she just kept on talking shit. And I was just, I was with Sayora, like, bitch, say something. Because now it's time for you to say something because this is out of line of her being disrespectful to your guests. Because, Kiara, you would not like that if somebody was doing your guests like that. You would be ready to fucking fight. Um, so, that the producers asked Homeboy to leave because of it was getting a, a little heated up in there. So, they, they asked him to leave because once he jumped up, she like, what the fuck you jumping up for? And I'm like, oh my god, like, girl, you, you over there talking shit about him. Why can't he stand up? Like, I don't think he should say something or run up on you, but... You up in there talking shit, so maybe he needs to come to the door to maybe can hear what you gotta say. It was just crazy. Um, so it was crazy how I didn't respect that she waited till I think it was seven in the middle of them. Somebody was in the middle of them before Kiara swung on her. You should have swung when y'all was just face to face, but you waited till homegirl swung. I mean, was in the middle of y'all, and then you swung. So then, um, homegirl ran back up. They start fighting. That old left hook shit, homegirl saying, Susan was saying she liked it here. I was like, bitch, she's not connecting like that. She might be hitting her a little bit, but they not connecting like that because her arm not going around homeboy. Now, granted, she was pulling the shit out of her motherfucking hair, but homegirl was pulling the shit out of her hair too. So I was just like, okay. She did get a couple of hits in. She scratched her face right here where, you know, she had that little whip when she was bleeding. When Francesca was cleaning her up afterwards. But I was like, damn. Oh, shit. But I just felt like, don't try to make her seem like she just beat that girl ass when I watched it. And I was like, her arm not going all the way around. So, whatever. Um, They end up breaking them up or whatever. And Francesca cleaning up Sayora. And then, um, they end up, the producers made Kiara go to a hotel for the night. And now, Kiana, oh, I don't want her to go home. I don't want my girl to go home. Yada, yada, yada. I'm like, girl, girl, shut up. Shut up. And I was with Seven. Like, oh, bitch, now you want to cry when you wanted to see drama. You started drama with Susan last week because you said you was bored in the fucking house. Now your homegirl did it. Now, oh, I don't want her to go home. Woo, woo, woo. You don't want, girl, shut up. You should stay off that shit. Just be quiet. Because you supposed to be both of their homegirls. Remember that part. So, I was just like, whatever. So, now Seven is mad. And now Seven wants to confront Kia, Kia Anna. And, you know, about her being messy. And she say something to her. Next thing you know, she wants to fight her. And she just basically confronts her and then and she was like you know i'm not with this i'm not with this talking i'm about fighting and that's why i said i like her because i'm not with that either i don't got time to be sitting there talking to you bitch i'd rather just put my motherfucking hands on you and if you ain't gonna let us fight what the fuck am i here for so i totally understand her um i did i one thing I can say about Kiara, no wonder you and it, so, say you are his motherfucking friends. Because regardless of how many times y'all get y'all ass beat, y'all don't back down from a fight. So I will give y'all that, but y'all better not back down from a fight. Uh, but my thing is, if you ain't really got hands, I don't think you should. Mm. 
be running up. I'm just saying. Or run up with something. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I mean, I like this episode. I was very, very disappointed in um, Kiara. I was very disappointed. And I still like her. There are some things I get. When she was talking to um, DeShayla about her relationship and what she shouldn't accept and all that kind of stuff, there's, there's things in her that I get and I totally understand, especially being a girl that grew up in Compton, in foster care, not really having guidance. I totally understand where she's coming from. She just needs somebody just like she want to be the big sister for the show. She just needs somebody to guide her a little rough, right? A little, she a little rough around the edges. And you know what I'm saying? And that's growing up in company. You see girls like this and you see like they don't know nothing else but to be hard and to be fighting and, and you know what I'm saying? To show that they tough. That's her. That's key. That's all I see with Kiara. She wants to show that she this tough girl from Compton. And I'm like, girl, you don't have to be that to just say that you from Compton. I'm like, girl. And I'm tired of people saying something about, um, I, I and I'm, I'm always saying this. I don't give a fuck where you from. Stop throwing out where you from. Like, nobody else got cities with hard bitches too. Stop doing that. Um, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this Bad Girls Club review. Season 17, episode 3. Like I said, I enjoyed it. I like reviewing Bad Girls Club. I like interacting with you guys. So, yeah. And I'm glad that you guys don't believe in them spoilers in my damn comments. So, yeah, I'm glad you guys respect that. Um, what else I was going to say? Oh, make sure you guys are coming to Las Vegas, July the 7th. Through the 9th, we are having a three-day weekend full of partying, fun, all that good stuff. It's not a, you don't have to be 21. We'd love for you to be 21, but you don't have to be 21 to come to the event. You don't have to be 21 to come out here and have fun with us. We're going to be doing e things that's not, have, you have, don't have to be 21 to do. Um, the gamble, you have to be 21, but that ain't what... I want my weekend to be of. If you want to come out here and gamble and lose all your goddamn money, that's on you. But my thing is about to have fun, turn up, party, all that good stuff, and supporting people. So make sure you're coming out July the 7th through the 9th. Tickets will be on sale this Friday. I've been trying to get the tickets, prices, and all that kind of stuff. And I've just been doing everything by myself, so it's been taking a minute. But it will be up this Friday, so you guys will be able to purchase tickets through my PayPal and then we will send you guys an online ticket through your email um because like I see I ain't got no money and I'm doing everything by myself so yeah and if you still would like to donate the GoFundMe account is up for the people that would like to donate that's not coming um I will put that in the description box and also if you want to donate through my PayPal that will also be in the description box for the people that don't um, think they will be making it, but still want to support. So, um, yeah, follow me on everything social media by the ghetto view, T-H-A, not T-H-E, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.